Transmission begin. I am Alfarius. As you can see, I'm still in the upper administrative building. Little disappointed. Monday, the guys that came to deliver the two couches that we had purchased and ordered, uh, they started to get downstairs and could not make it around the bend in our stairs to get down into the basement. And the guys apologized, but they said they just basically can't get the couches down there. So the wife and I made our way back into the store and just basically exchanged them for a couple of couches that the backs can be removed on them. And they're designed exactly to go around stairs. Um, either up or down obviously so those don't get delivered again until Monday I was able to get the desk assembled but I wasn't able to get everything put into it I've had a lot of uh, stuff on my plate lately so Monday I was a little disappointed frustrated and upset uh, because I couldn't get the hydro factory set up and I couldn't get the new family room set up and yeah, it was kind of a meh evening a little disappointing and uh, but that was all turned around last night Wednesday so yesterday made my way down to Dork Lords and Stainer and um, I have to say that although I thought it was going to take me a long time to get there and to get there it did uh, I decided that I was going to take a shortcut through a section going through Angus and um, it's down a little dirt road and it, it connects everything so about three and a half kilometers down this dirt road, you can only do about 40 because the road itself is maybe one and a half car lengths wide and there's water along each side. No guardrails, no nothing. And um, it, it was slippery uh, and I didn't want to end up in the water. So I was traveling about 40, 45. I made it to where the left-hand turn was supposed to be and the road was closed due to water. I don't know if anybody is from the Barry area. I'm sure that we've all seen the DVP videos, everything like that. But we've had some pretty major flooding. So I had to turn around and head back down this three and a half kilometer dirt road to get to the main road to make it into Stainer. And I thought all was good with the world and I make it into Stainer and there's major construction going on with this huge lineup. So I had to wait and wait and wait. So needless to say, my adventure to Stainer took me almost an hour. And I was like, if this is going to be the way, oh god. But made it in, played my game, and I had a Bob, this Bob guy that I played against. Um, not only is he part of, I, I can't remember the name of the company, but he makes his own battlefield terrain, I believe, anyways. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Once I get some money together, it's probably going to be my next purchase once I get my Eldar army assembled, which I'll get to. But the terrain that he develops is of Forge World quality at like a third of the price. It is beautiful. I loved playing on his terrain and uh, I actually have some pictures of some of the terrain that he's put up uh, on Eternal Warriors website. I just did a little sneak peek thing of, the, of it. Uh, but he has like 17 different pieces of ruins available and they're all very reasonably priced. Uh, I'd love to plug his stuff. Once I get his website, I will definitely do probably a full video on it because I loved it that much. In any event, uh, so I played a game against Bob's Blood Angels. Uh, man, Death Company ruined my life. But uh, we had, it was probably one of the most epic, bloodiest battles I have ever played. And um, I'm not going to ruin it because it's a bat rep. So speaking of the bat rep, Mikey Dolman, a.k.a. Mantis, I've heard rumors of how much, how long it takes for his bat reps to go. But man, I didn't realize that he was a perfectionist. Oh my god. It was awesome to see, honestly. Uh, I'd make a move and he'd be like, no, nope, redo that. I'm like, what? So I'd have to move my model back and then move it forward because my hand was in the way. And uh, I, I really appreciate his perfectionism. However, a, an hour and a half long game probably took us four hours to film it. So I didn't end up leaving uh, the Dark Lord's uh, dungeon until 11.25 in the p.m. Normally I'm in bed by then. Uh, but I did clock my time on the way home. So 11.25, I did get delayed by the construction and I was in my driveway by 11.56. So honestly, a 31 minute drive plus construction. I don't speed, so uh, like that to me is very acceptable. I travel longer to get to GW Langstaff. So um, definitely the Dork Lords will be seeing my face a little bit more. 
assuming that I'm welcomed back. A couple of the guys kind of didn't realize what a Heldrake could do, and when they found out, their uh, jaws dropped. The individuals that did know kind of went, Ew. they turned their nose up to him. I don't blame them. Heldrakes are dirty. Um, yeah, so upcoming weekend, we have Mini Astronomicon on Saturday. And um, on the exact same day, there's the Eldar release. So I'm really looking forward to both of these things. I know we've got five or six people signed up for the tournament, which is probably two or three more people than I had anticipated, to be honest with you, due to being fully painted. And we haven't advertised it very well. So that's happening. So on to the Eldar release. My plans are um, I'm not going to do the Wraith. Uh, GW seemed to be pushing this Wraith stuff so much and I refuse to have my hand held through army building processes. I want to build my own army and I don't want someone to cram down my throat what I should be playing. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing. I'm going against the grain. I'm not saying I'm going to have a competitive list, but it's going to be what I want to do. So I have decided to do Samhain. I am going to do a Wild Rider army, so it's going to be jet bikes galore. Um, more than likely Vipers. I watched this really cool to um, Viperology is what it's called. Fritz 40k um, did this really cool thing on comparing Vipers to Warwalkers and uh, why he takes Vipers over Warwalkers. So I'll probably include them because he convinced me. And then in my heavy spots, I'll I'll include um, Fire Prisms and or Falcons. The new Jet Fighter too. I really love the model, so I'll try to include a couple of them. So I'll just build up an army and we'll see. Obviously, I don't have anything set in stone because I don't have a codex yet. Two more sleeps and I've got it in my hands and then I can start dilly-dallying on what I want. Now, the Wild Riders that I'm going to do, I'm not happy with the current GW Eldar sculpts. So I've been reading a couple of tutorials on how to convert the Dark Eldar jet bikes into an Eldar jet bike and that's what I'm going to do. I just don't like that laid back Harley chopper looking Eldar jet bike and I want it to be more of a crotch rocket uh, riding jet bike from the Dark Eldar. I just like the sleekness of them and uh, everything like that. So that's basically my plans for it and we'll see what happens. I don't have a red army surprisingly. Um, so it'll be really cool to, to paint up red. Uh, I enjoy painting red, which a lot of people don't, but we'll see what happens. In any event, uh, hopefully this will be my last video up in the administrative building. We shall see what happens in the next couple of days, and um, hopefully Monday my furniture will actually make it around the corner and I can get the Hydro Factory set up and going. Um, but from here, what I'd really like to know is what would you like to see from me next? I have thought about doing some painting tutorials. Uh, the problem is, is that I don't know if my camera can capture it well enough. And to be honest with you, I'm not willing to invest money into uh, a camera just for the purpose of painting tutorials. So I could give them a shot, maybe do some unboxing, stuff like that, but it's all been done and I don't want to sort of reiterate what other people are doing. Uh, I am going to be doing some bat reps um, with the Ridvins campaign coming up and um, I'll try my hand at them and we'll see what happens. But I'd really like to know what you want to see from me. So currently, this has just been a blog on, on sort of my Alpha Legion. It's going to turn into a blog for my uh, Sam Hain and the process of doing it. I'll do something on Astronomicon and, um, and I don't know where to go from there. So, yeah, in any event, um, I hope you all have a great weekend of rolling dice and getting geeky. Get your painting done. And um, we'll see you next week. I am Alpharius, Transmission End.